with the, with the full support of his party. And with that, Al Franken will uh, be leaving office in the next few weeks. Um, pretty moving 20-minute speech that he made. Barry Weiss, uh, you've been writing about this. Um, what's your perspective on what happened yesterday? Very smart politics. The Democrats have just are making themselves into the party of family values, while the Republicans are now the party of people like Roy Moore, who are alleged to have molested 14 and 16 year old girls, which is the more long lasting and appealing political brand. I don't even think there's a contest. Also, they'll be able to keep Al Franken's seat because the governor will appoint uh, apparently uh, Tina Smith, his deputy, who conveniently is also a woman. So that's the political question. There's a different question here, though, which is the ethical one and the moral one, and that's much more gray. Right now, I fear that there's a sort of category collapse and a moral flattening happening, which is that the punishment, when it gives down a punishment, the punishment has to fit the crime. Does Al Franken deserve the same punishment as Harvey Weinstein, as Charlie Rose, as Matt Lauer, as Garrison Keillor, as Leonard Lopate, who doesn't even know what he stands accused of, the public radio host, who was public, who was as physically escorted out of the WNYC building the other day mm -hmm. because of an anonymous complaint? That's my fear, is that all of these people are having the same punishment, and in a way it devalues the more serious allegations. That's my fear. Well, we have had a, a U.S. senator who was sort of leading the charge on Al Franken resigning, saying, you know what, she's tired of, of trying to make a differentiation between a, um, I don't have the exact word, but a grope or a whatever and assault, that it's all bad. They all should go? I mean, it's all bad. I'm not defending squeezing someone's butt. But is butt. there a difference? I think there is a difference. I think most Americans would think, think that there's a difference. But wait a minute, that's... Harvey if, Weinstein is a serial predator. Hold on, can we back know? up a little bit? Sure. That's if it happened. Am I allowed to He's say that? He's denying that it happened. Right. So am I allowed to say if it happened or, well, well, or should we just assume it did? You, you but know, that, that, the problem that, that, is in this climate, yeah. even asking if it happened is such a risky thing to do. And I think that's dangerous. Barry, I were, you the, were you the one that wrote, because Mika has been reading a lot of columns. I, were you the, did you write that you prefer to you prefer due process over a lynch mob? Is yes. That, is that what you said? Or, or mob rule? Yes. Yeah. So, so yeah. So Mika, to answer your question, can you a ever ask any question like that? It depends on whether well, we're talking about uh, due, uh, a system right. with due process or whether it's just a lynch mob. Right. Well, the problem, it was untenable politically, especially with the more special election coming up, for them to stand by Franken. And uh, again, I understand that. I but, said but, that yesterday. But I do yes. understand. Yes. I just but, think they should have been more concerned about it. Well, also, they could have let the Ethics Committee investigation play out the way they did for Bob Menendez, who stands accused of crime. I mean, another thing that's happening is that we're elevating sexual misconduct above all other kinds of misdeeds and crimes. Yeah. So I think that that's well, also we, another problem. We asked another that question of uh, Congresswoman Speer yesterday, yeah. and I said, if Val Franken did this, you'll find out through the Ethics Committee process. Why not just allow that to play out? And then if something is found, then he should resign after that. And she said the process is flawed. So, I mean, I, I, on the one hand, you want them to go through due process, but on the other hand, you say, well, the system doesn't work, so they don't deserve due process. It seems like a very bad place to be in Congress right now. Right, and I, I mean, this is part of, obviously, a much broader cultural moment in which, you know, b companies and brands are deciding, we don't want to touch this, we don't want to be near someone who's accused. But the problem is, is that some people, some innocent people, are going to go down, and is that worth the price of sort of bringing down the patriarchy? A lot of feminists right now are saying it's worth the price. Mm -hmm. I'm uncomfortable with that. I am too.